What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be showing you how you can install your TikTok Pixel onto your Shopify website. Now, this is going to be a pretty short video because I'm not one of those gurus that takes a 10 minute topic and uh, draws it out into two hours. So yeah, if you guys appreciate that, I definitely hope that you leave a like or a comment or subscribe, something like that below. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and make a TikTok account if you don't have one already, and then just log into your account. All right, so at this point, we're into the TikTok Ads Manager, and we're going to want to go to Library and then click Event. From there, we can click Website Pixel, assuming you're installing this on a website, and then uh, I'll just go ahead and skip this and click Create Pixel. If you do have Google Tag Manager, that probably makes it easier. Personally, I don't use GTM, so I don't really know um, if that's like the better option. But uh, if you want to install the Pixel manually, which is what I've been doing, uh, then I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And obviously, we're going to want to use manually install Pixel code. We're going to name this Pixel example. And we're going to click next from there we can just go ahead and copy this pixel code and then i think it's really smart to download the tiktok pixel helper which is just going to be a google chrome extension that double checks if your pixel was installed correctly so once we have the pixel code copied then we can go ahead and go to our shopify store and then go to your theme and then click edit code so once you've edited the code and you've got to a screen that looks something like this you can go ahead and go to theme.liquid and then uh, it should show up something similar to what my code looks like right now. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is locate the head. Um, so after the head, just right below it, basically all that you gotta do is paste the script that you just copied. From there you can go ahead and save it and you're good to go as far as the code goes. Next you're going to want to go into your Shopify settings and then click checkout. From there, just scroll down until you get to additional scripts. You can just go ahead and paste this. I have multiple stores that already have additional scripts here on the Shopify checkout, and it seems to not affect them, so don't worry if that's your case. We can go ahead and save this, and now we're just going to double check that the code was installed correctly by using the TikTok Chrome extension that we just downloaded. Okay, so right now I am on the Shopify website that I just installed this pixel on. Obviously can't really show you the entire website, but uh, we're just looking at my footer right now. And that's all we're going to need in order to check if the pixel is installed correctly. So basically we're just going to go to our extensions, then find the TikTok pixel self-test tool. And it says on this page, I can find one pixel. Looks like it, is, it looks like it is installed correctly. So we'll go ahead and start setting up our events. Okay, so since this was installed correctly, we'll go ahead and click next and then click e-commerce events, assuming that you're doing e-com. So right here, product details is basically just going to be a view content. So I'm just going to call it that because I don't really know what product details means. I'm a Facebook guy, I'm used to view content. So I'll name it that and then I'm not gonna do a value because um, that doesn't really make me any money. And then for the statistic type, basically, this just means if you want to count whenever one person goes on your website for the rest of the time that they're on your website, that can either be one session or it can be multiple. So like if someone goes on your website and then they exit out, then they go on your website again, then they exit out, then they go on your website again, that could either be three view contents or it could be one view content, depending on whether you want to do every or once. Personally, I only do once for every event except complete payment because complete payment is the only one that affects the amount of money that I'm making at the end of the day. So we'll just go ahead and set complete payment to every, and then I'm going to add a name, the place and order, and also the complete payment events as well. Ads card is pretty self-explanatory. Place and order basically just means initiate checkout, and then complete payment means purchase. From here, we should be good to go and we can go ahead and click continue to set up event rules. Uh, basically, I don't use their event setup at all. I would just go ahead and skip this and then you can do destination URL 
instead of the whole click events because I've just found this is a lot more accurate. All right, so from here we can go ahead and start setting up our initiate checkout event. So basically the page URL that you're gonna need to put here is just products because whenever you send someone to a product page, if you're using Shopify, it is going to say products in the URL. So we can go ahead and save this and then move on to the add to cart. For the add to cart, it's going to be the same thing, destination URL, add page browsing rule, page URL contains cart. Next, we're going to save that, then go ahead and move on to initiate checkout. Same thing, destination URL, add page browsing rule, page URL contains checkout. That's done. Now we can move on to our complete payment. Destination URL, add page browsing rule, page URL contains thank underscore you. Now we should be good to go and we can go ahead and press complete. This should be set up successfully, but just to double check and I would recommend that you do this too, I'm going to go ahead and go through my Shopify checkout funnel and make sure that it records all these events. Now TikTok Pixel has some room to go, um, so it may take up to a day or two to record events, um, or maybe it just doesn't record them at all, but the vast majority of the time, it should get it within maybe an hour or two. Um, so definitely just go through your checkout funnel, make sure that it's showing up right here on your event funnel statistics and you should be good to go. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like below. I really hope that this helps you go crush it with TikTok ads. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that it helped you figure out how to install your TikTok Pixel. If you guys are going to be using Shopify dropshipping or Shopify Ecom in general with TikTok ads, and I definitely recommend that you check out the rest of my TikTok ads tutorials. I have like 10 videos right now, and I'm releasing free value on TikTok ads every single week. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely feel free to hit that big red subscribe button below, and I will see you guys in the next video.